Okay, guys, so um, yesterday we talked about adding linear expressions, okay? And uh, remember, linear expressions were expressions that uh, uh, were variable expressions that where the variable was to the power of 1, which means it doesn't have, basically it doesn't have an exponent since we don't write the exponent of a 1. Um, and it's where variables aren't multiplied together. All right, and so bottom line is, is that linear expressions, remember, are expressions that if you were to graph them, they'd create a line. Okay, so we're going to have a couple of them in tonight's homework, but we yesterday we added them. Today we're subtracting the two of them. All right, so you're going to see um, how there's a little bit of a change, and, and I'll kind of talk about what we talked about yesterday um, as we go through the lesson. So uh, with that said, there are no vocab words today. So what I need you guys to do is to go ahead and grab your worksheet and go ahead and put your name up at the top, date and period as well. And let's do a couple here together. So um, let's go ahead and uh, let's take a look at problem. Let's start by looking at problem number three. Okay, problem three, here's what I'd like you guys to do, is I'd like you, first of all, to just set down your pencil, all right, and just have your eyes up here and just watch um, as, I, uh, as I complete the problem, okay? And then we'll turn around and I'll, we'll go do another one step by step. Don't worry, I'll let you guys write this, uh, this problem, the answer to this down along with all of its work after I'm done. Okay, so number three, if you remember right, here's a linear expression, here's a linear expression. The difference between today and yesterday is this subtraction sign. Now, if you remember right, yesterday this was an addition sign. And we went into detail, spent some time, so hopefully all of you guys are paying attention. Whenever I talked about squeezing a one here, and I said, well, remember, when we squeeze a one in front of those parentheses, what basically it's doing is, Yesterday, anyway, we were multiplying everything by positive 1. And remember, we said that won't change a thing. Now, here's the difference, though. Today, if we take a look, if I put a 1 up here, fantastic. It would turn around, and actually, I would be multiplying all of this by a positive 1. We'd get the same answer. The difference, though, with subtraction of linear expressions, when I squeeze a 1 in here, we are not going to get the exact same thing. Okay? So the property we talked about, right, talked about how when you multiply by 1, you get the same answer. However, this one isn't a 1. That's a negative 1. So it's slightly different. So here's what we're going to do. I just want you to watch. The very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze a 1 in here. If I want to put a 1 here, that's fine. But my main focus is here because, again, this is a positive 1. It's not going to change anything. If I focus here at that second half, I'm actually going to do distributive property here. So I have my term or my integer up front, my negative 3x term here, and my positive 2. Remember, I'm not going to box in anything. I'm not combining like terms right now. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do distributive property. So what I have is I have negative 1 times a negative 3x. Well, negative 1 times negative 3 gives us a positive 3x. Then what I have here with my distributive property, just using the rainbow method, negative 1 times a positive 2 gives me a negative 2. So what I'm going to want to do is, is because I have a negative 1 times negative 3x, um, I'm going to want to put a positive sign since it's a positive 3. And here's why. Because I'm all I'm going to do, just like yesterday, is because this is a positive 1 up front, I'm going to drop this down without the parentheses. So negative 3x plus 15. If I don't have my positive sign there, my plus sign, my addition sign, it's going to look like 15 3x or, or almost like 153x. I don't want that. Now I'm going to go ahead and combine like terms. So negative 3x, there's a positive 3x. Okay, my x terms I boxed in. I'm going to go ahead and circle my next term here, which is just a constant. Remember, on all of these, I've I put the sign in front, and I'm going to do the same thing here, negative 2. Now, I'm going to go ahead. Usually, I, I would rather work down, but because this is my last step, and I'm running out of room on this problem here, I'm just going to write my answer over to the side. So I'm going to combine them. Negative 3x 
positive 3x. Remember, I'm just focusing, since they're like terms, I'm just focusing in on my coefficient. We did a couple problems like this yesterday. Negative 3 plus 3 is actually 0. So that'd be like having 0x. Zero, 0 times x. Well, anything times 0 is 0. Bottom line, negative 3 plus 3, they cancel each other out. Normally, I'd put my x term here. But if I just put an x, that is implying 1x. And negative 3 plus 3 is not 1. So those cancel out. Now I, all I have are my constants. And this is a 15 and a negative 2. Or otherwise, you could think of it as 15 minus 2 is a positive 13. So the only thing that's different from yesterday to today is that subtraction sign, which means that we need to do distributive property there because that is actually creating a negative 1, which is going to change some things in that second part, inside those second parentheses. Okay, And obviously, that doesn't have parentheses and it doesn't have like terms, so that is our simplified answer. It ends up just being a, a number. All right, so. Let's do another one. We're going to go step by step. Let's go ahead and let's go down to problem number 13. Okay, problem number 13. Here we go. We have two linear expressions, but as soon as I notice a subtraction sign there, I'm subtracting the two of them, I need to do step one. And this is a definite, is because of that subtraction sign, I'm squeezing a one here. Now again, you can put a one in the front. It really doesn't matter, okay? Now, once I squeeze a 1, I'm doing step 2, and that is, I'll put dp, but that's distributive property. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to use the rainbow method, so I'm going to identify all of my terms, so whenever I do it, I don't miss a term here on, on multiplying. So negative 1 times negative 5 is positive 5. I'll write down, I'm just thinking ahead, I'm going to write down positive 5 times x, or just positive 5x. And negative 1 times a positive 17 gives me a negative 17, or in this case, a minus 17. Now, step 3 is I'm going to go ahead and drop the parentheses and rewrite this. So I have 3x minus 1. Now comes step 4, and that is I'm going to take this and I'm going to, I'll abbreviate here, I'm going to combine like terms. So here we go. Positive 3x. I also have here a positive 5x. I included the positive with the 5x. I'm going to go ahead and here's a new one. It's a constant. Negative 1. And here's another constant. I'm going to circle it as well. Negative 17. So when I combine, here we go. My boxes or my x terms is 3 plus 5, which gives me 8x. This one is a negative 1 minus 17, which gives me a negative 18. And what I have, no parentheses, no like terms. That's our simplified answer. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you go ahead and try out the next problem that I want you to work on. And that is, I would like you to try out problem number 14, 14. OK, I'll give you about one minute. Go. Okay. 
Okay, so what I'd like you to do is to go ahead and turn to your neighbor. Um, share your answer, but also, especially if you don't agree on the answer, make sure that both of you walk through the steps, especially step one, which is crucial. All right? So, number 14, 30 seconds, turn to your neighbor and share. Go. Okay, let's go ahead, check your work, check your answer, see if you got it right. So step one says, right, this is what I was talking about, we need to squeeze that one in because it's subtraction, okay? Step two is, is I'm gonna go ahead and do distributive property with the second uh, part here, all right? Remember this is, if I squeeze the one, right, it's all regular time multiplying by one, meaning it's just not gonna change. This one is though. So I go ahead, the second part, Here's my parentheses. I'm going to multiply everything with negative 1. So here we go. Negative 1 times negative 8 is positive 8. And then, of course, times x, so positive 8x. This one here is negative 1 times negative 2, which gives us a positive 2. Okay? Step 3, remember, is to drop parentheses and just rewrite this first half here. So negative 9x plus 2. So I rewrite that linear expression without the parentheses. Okay, and then step four is combine like terms. So if I turn around and combine these like terms, I'm gonna box in my x terms because that's what my first one is. So negative nine x, positive eight x. And then here I have a constant, just a number, it's positive two. And here's a constant, a positive two. Go ahead and do the math part of this. Negative nine plus eight is one x positive 1x. Oh, wait a second though. Negative is larger, right? So it's a negative 1x. Or you could have negative x. And then we have a 2 plus 2. Look, adding the constants and that is a positive 4. So negative 1x plus 4 or just negative x plus 4 is our answer. And guys, just like yesterday, the word problems down here, just read them carefully. All it's going to do is going to give you a couple of different expressions. All right, they're going to be the linear expressions. And believe it or not, they're going to probably ask you to subtract them or find the difference in the two. So just read it carefully. All right, and that is subtracting linear expressions.